how many of your du'as actually come from your heart. You are watching Hashtag with Sa'ad Taslim. Sometimes we get so caught up in wordings and specifics regarding du'as that we forget that what makes a du'a the most effective is when the du'a, the supplication, comes from our heart. Listen, don't get me wrong. Using the du'as of the Prophet is amazing. It's great. And to memorize those du'as is awesome. But not when it comes at the expense of the presence of our heart and the sincerity while we're making those du'as. We get so concerned sometimes with getting the du'a exactly right, saying the Arabic in the exact way, that we forget about what the purpose of this du'a actually is to call out and pour our heart out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Best of both worlds, yes, you use the du'as of the Prophet You understand them, you internalize them, and you use that to pour your heart out. But if you're not able to do that, at the very least, turn back to your heart and speak to Allah in whatever language you can. The language of your heart is understood by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Sometimes you get so caught up in those type of du'as, those type of things where people say, you say this this many times and you get this, and you say this this many times and you get this. And we get caught up in these numbers and the amounts that the spirit or the soul of the du'a is gone. Did you think about the fact that sometimes simple statements can actually be du'as as well? When you say to someone, Assalamu alaikum, you're saying, may peace be upon you, meaning may Allah grant you peace and a life of peace and make you content. Think about that du'a and you'll realize that the du'a comes from the heart and what makes it effective is the outpouring of our heart. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshallah ta'ala, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.